Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, uh, Moon and Rising, monthly tarot reading for uh, June 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away to the spread. All right, almost there. Alright, so uh, let's see what we got. The first card that marks uh, the topic of your month, Tauruses, this is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Uh, that is the topic, yeah. The second card, which is uh, the uh, totally conditional card in this pride, it means the things, peripheral things that you can go for, which are unrelated to the topic itself, okay? So that is something in addition to the topic. The third card, that is going to be about the challenges that you have to face, challenges in regards to the Tree of Pentacles here, in regards to the topic. Uh, the fourth card is going to be uh, the positive aspect of the week, what helps you, what gives you drive there, that is to be the Ten of uh, Wands. And then the last one is the guidance that Tower is offering to you, Tauruses, that will be the Tree of Wands. So once again, uh, Tree of Pentacles followed by uh, the uh, Eight of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the Four of Wands. Third one, uh, fourth one, excuse me, is going to be the uh, Ten of Wands. And then the last one, we do have the Three of Wands. So uh, first thing that uh, really makes an impression here is the Wands, a lot of fiery cards, which means that this is going to be a, a month of growth, all right? <clears throat> the ones usually are associated with passion and career as well. So uh, it does look like that in either of these fronts, you're going to make a, a severe progress. Additionally to that, we do have double trees into the um, into the spread. And the tree, the number three is a, associated with um, cooperation, trinity, you know, and uh, in generally so, uh, so, um, socializing as well, that is in case you're single or you're feeling lonely and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna uh, dive deep into uh, numerology here, but in generally when we do have, when you do have number three, through cooperation, through two things coming up together, something third is created, you know, and um, this number itself, it tells us that um, if you, you know, share efforts with uh, other people, or if other people share efforts with you, you are to achieve even greater stuff. Uh, that is throughout the month. The f uh, but the month itself, by the looks of these cards, <clears throat> is going to be more uh, slowly progressive. What I mean is that th this is displayed here with the Three of Pentacles at the start. So what happens is in you can rely this month on a, a slow and... Um, steady but thorough and um, secure progression in either your career or in your relationship instead of fast and explosive uh, explosive progression and um, 
yet uh, jeopardizing your current achievements you know and uh, risking your positions so the tree of pentacles here which is the topic it does point that you're going to be supported through your development either through a constructive criticism through cooperation as well it could be through both um <clears throat> At the same time, the thing with this card is that uh, throughout this month, you're going to have these fruitful conversations and as well, uh, like I said, you know, cooperations, which are going to allow you, you know, to progress with your career, or with your relationship as well, or with, well, in, in general, with your endeavors, that is. Now, um, this, it's, it's really help that we do have here with three of pentacles comes completely deprived from price meaning that these people or whatever helps you throughout the month to improve yourself to improve to polish your skills for example you know to acquire new uh, knowledge uh, the, the the force which is going to guide you is not going to ask anything in return the only thing that you need to do here with the three of pentacles is just to listen all right and in the same time, the card requires a lot of sincerity either. So if you cannot do anything, just say, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to manage to do it. Instead of relying on your pride and uh, involving yourself into circumstances or situations which you have no clue how to develop any further. You are going to be taught, that is. This uh, support through your development is going to grant you a slow but steady, you know, um, progress and uh, growth, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Uh, we do have uh, the next card, or the... Um, the catalyst here which is the queen of swords so formation it is a uh, passive enemies of what we do have and as uh, such a formation i could tell you tauruses that this thing you will try to uh, develop throughout the week or try to progress with you know uh, attempt or opt to progress with you know or in general your growth is going to um, affect only uh, the new undertakings the undertakings which have been or the endeavors which have been recently un undertaken instead of you know something that took a, a long long time to develop until this very moment so uh, this month it will be uh, the month of june it will be beneficial for you uh, to attend to these uh, recently emerging projects you know recently emerging relationships and so on and uh, so forth now one thing i want to say additionally to that is that you should not be uh, premeditated and biased about uh, uh, in regards to your uh, poignant experience and experience of a failings for example because um, whatever uh, you are to develop throughout this month sources either a new relationship or a new project or a new career um, <clears throat> or just proceeding forward with your current relationship or current career will look very similar to a, a specific situation in the past which turned out to be a rather failure and that's why I'm saying that you should not be premeditated or biased that this situation that you are in right now is gonna fail once again because simply because you are better and on top of that is that you this time around you do have the support required in order to push that thing through um the next card which is the exterior circumstances you know something that you can go for something that you can develop if you do have the time and eager or something that you can completely pass over if you don't find it effective efficient and uh, you don't have the time for it so uh actually there are going to be many things because the eight of wands it does expresses those um, small opportunities you know small enterprises which are coming around uh, coming around if not seized straight away they just fly by and goes with the flow now there is nothing wrong you know you taking advantage of these uh, small openings which are to be presented to you for throughout the month that are these openings will have nothing to do you know with your prime endeavor here the growth okay these could be openings for example a an old friend of yours uh, that you haven't catch up in a, uh, in years kind of like calls you or you accidentally stumble on facebook and he tells you or she tells you you know let's catch up on a um, on a cup of coffee or something like this you know these small endeavors which are distracting you that is of uh, the prime goal now the thing with the eights of wands is that this card is very unstable and if you don't take those um those openings uh with clear-headed mind that is meticulously 
how can I place it or not meticulously but rather thoroughly um, scaling the pros and the cons of them uh, you can deprave yourself from a lot so if I am at your place here Taurus is I wouldn't go for that card. It is uh, it is very very unstable uh, as a follow up to the tree of pentacles that promises you steady and um, thorough growth of either your career or of either your relationship. The accompanied card here that is going to be the page of swords. So the formation it is a active friends that we do have and. Um, well, it's it's a very uh, the formation first of all it is a active friends and uh it's it's very difficult formation to be uh, analyzed but i would say that as these couple of cards shows up it seems that something simply is going to drag you into those openings all right it's going to be very difficult for you to to resist them why it is because they're going to be something different of experience something that you would uh that, that, that you in generally would like to try now the thing here guys is that you need to remember that everything comes with a price and even if you try it out even if you find out that you don't like it you still have to pay the price uh, the first thing that comes to my mind as an example is let's say you do uh, you are dating with a person all right and uh, now this month promises you slow and steady growth in this um, in this process of establishing a solid relationship and uh, an ex of yours someone that you had let's say in your childhood as a, a suitor or as a boyfriend or a girlfriend uh, accidentally stumble on you on a, a Facebook you can exchange messages and you decide to um, to meet up and while with the eight of wands it points that is going to be a rather passionate experience is going to be a short-term experience and you jeopardize your slowly and steady progress in the prime goal you know the prime uh, relationship that is just an example so um, the next card that we do have this is going to be the challenge uh, that you will have to face throughout the month uh, that is related to the Tree of Pentacles, the slow and steady growth, the support, the cooperation. All right, so uh, Four of Wands, it points that this month is not going to develop as fast as you would like to. All right, so you may find yourself a bit aggravated, a bit impatient um, as well. You know, uh, that could prompt you to do some premature actions, some premature um decisions as well um, for the sake of you uh, consolidating on a very important cycle of development now if you do so the challenge here points that you can overlook a, a very important detail so the challenge is to realize that nothing happens over a night all right and should you be thorough and meticulous with your performance either career wise or either relationship wise as well the um, finalization of the important cycle and then jumping into the next level is going to be imminent for you but you need to show you know that you can keep up with it all right and keeping up i mean i don't mean on the fast phase of it but on the slow phase as well because keeping up uh, with something also regards to the slow phase of it and now the phase is about building up foundations three of pentacles is as well about that <clears throat> uh, i remember you know what my managers once said you know when you have sex you don't have to you can't go straight to the for the orgasm you know you just it, you need to have the play first and then you know the whole procedure you can't just just straight away jump to the uh, to the orgasm state so yeah just don't try to um, cut corners here that is the uh, that is the challenge all right so the accompanied card that we do have to the four of wands that is to be the six of cups formation it is a active enemies and uh, the six of cups it does represents these chores that you will have to attend to as well uh, in order to per to uh, cons to solidify excuse me you know your positions and the um, the foundation which you are building through the cooperation and through the support through the fruitful conversations in generally you know <clears throat> the foundation which is going to secure your progress moving on forward so yeah they're going to be chores you're not going to find them very trilled actually uh with uh, this formation here it does look like that uh, you're just going to feel tired you know it's not different than uh, myself for example every time that i have a job to do i always feel sleepy i always feel tired and as soon as i'm done with the job you know i'm you know um 
awoke again and I'm ready to enjoy myself. Yeah, so these chores are not going to be very enjoyable. Uh, considering that the Tree of Pentacles is also about criticism, you know, some of these criticism, that feedback that you're going to get from those people, experienced people which are to support you, you may not like at all and you may feel hurt from it as well you know it could hurt your feelings but that doesn't make it untrue all right so that's why you need to have as well that clear uh, headed mind to um, realize that you are a human you do mistakes all right but sometimes out of those mistakes the most beautiful things can happen uh, so the next card that we do have for you, Taurus, is this is to be uh, the uh, positivity. What makes you kicking? What makes you, uh, what, what gives you dry? What helps you? Uh, so nine, a uh, ten of pentacles, a uh, ten of uh, wands. Excuse me. First of all, ten of wands here represents one of its very rare qualities. Ten of wands uh, in such a follow-up represents an a. Uh, can I press it? An awesome opportunity, you know, to um, achieve great gains. But in the same time, it is a quite of a slot. It is a quite of a toil before you actually cultivate the uh, the harvest. All right, and you need to be ready to do so. So that point, that uh, thing points that you are gonna be very consumed, or rather, like your time is going to be quite cons consumed throughout the month to establish your development and to build up the foundations of your marriage, your relationship, you know, or a a career as well. But in the same time, with the ten of wands, you know that uh, you will know, or rather, like you should be certain that this thing is gonna worth a lot at the end of the day. And one more quality that the Ten of Wands here represents is as well the strive for power. Or the straight for power, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, you following these people um, or, you know, these advices, this cooperation, uh, the, the fruitful conversations and so on and so forth, you will start obtaining power. Uh, it's no different than uh, applying the sentence here that the apprentice surpass its teacher. So, uh, yeah, you will become even better in what you do. You will become even better in those who are supporting you, in those who are teaching you throughout the months as well. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Four of Cups. So, the formation, it is a active enemies that we do have once again. And the Four of Wands here only, only puts a, a confirmation of this is going to be a very, very good opportunity. Uh, but one thing that the Four of Cups here points is that it's going to be a, um, how can I place it? Um, here to for an explored potential. So you started something recently, let's say dating, and you had that biased and premeditated uh, feeling that this ain't gonna go further than um, dating, or, or it's not gonna develop in something more serious, but in the same time, your friends are supporting you, her or his friends are supporting you both as well, you know, whispering into your ears how compatible you are, and so on and so forth. Sometimes, you know, criticizing you for things that you did that hurt the other person and so on and so forth and you realize that there is heretofore potential and tremendous potential in between you two unexplored and you will have to do so explore it i mean uh, and the last card that we do have it is the guidance that is going to be the tree of wands which very thoroughly correlates with the previous couple of cards. Three of Wands points that you will find yourself throughout the month sitting on a very, very established patterns, solid, solid um, ways rather, or solid foundations, which needs to be consolidated on. And additionally to that, the Three of Wands points that you cannot sit into that place forever all right you gotta push that thing either you gotta push your uh, career you gotta push your relationship you gotta push your endeavor through challenging it challenging means you know i can't give you straight but i can't give you a thorough example of that but if you are dating with someone you know challenging that it could mean that you may start considering living together or deepening the relationship. The point is that you have to abandon the secure position eventually here throughout the months uh, to force a further growth into this, uh, into this endeavor. And the accompanied card here that is to be the moon uh, so the formation it is the active uh, active enemies that we do have and uh, a very very potent combo is what we do have here so at the start of the month we are seeing you a bit uh, you know insecure about what is to happen uh, maybe you will want like I said <clears throat> 
fast and exploding progress, but it's not gonna develop as fast as you want, but you will be very grateful about it because the, uh, the longer this thing uh, develops on a um, meticulous and thorough fashion, the more, sec uh, the more secure and, uh, how do you say it? Uh, the more secure and predictable the future and the situation, the more clear as well the situation will become to you, which uh, will allow you, you know, to build up the, fo the foundation of it, either career or, or a relationship or whatever, um, as strong as they possibly can. So, uh, yeah, Taurus, it seems a, a very, very productive month is ahead of you guys. I hope you don't waste it, you know, and I hope that you listen to what these people, which are to support you throughout your development are gonna tell you. And with that being said, this concludes our reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.